Hey beloved souls, welcome to Say You and I with Pleiadian Soul Messages. So this is part two. And sorry for the interruption, but there was not enough space anymore. Anyway, so we continue. We were speaking about how much corruption has been going on and about the children and the lowest of the lowest um, things that have been going on. Well, it is also a program and you must understand that those who have tried to control you and even many of them um, so-called at the places of power, which is not the power, it's a false power, there's a false light, there's a lot of falsity. But you have been worshipping a lot of them or giving them a throne or, you know, they took a throne and you thought they were like higher than you and you looked up to them or listened to them or they were on places and in governments. Now it is your turn to stand up and to see your power and to see your magnificence and that they truly aren't even humans. Most of them are not a humanoid at all. Or they are like looking like seemingly being humans. But you must be very coming become very, very clear now to really understand that a human being is not capable of doing such a horrific things. But we've told you before already that not only by possession or giving the permission for possession, but also by behaving like being a human being or having a human vessel and the corruption of the human body DNA and having half bread and making the frequency, you know, how could those, they knew a lot about the genetic manipulation and not only like doing these things a long time with animals even with horses, they knew how to interbreed and how to make genes accepting each other, even while normally one gene would not mix with the other. So there must be something in the one gene that makes it accept the other. And you can think about it yourself. But by interbreeding and breeding, and it will contain DNA, and also there's a lot of technical stuff you could say, or science going on with this interbreeding. And in the end, you have some half bread, and you have uh, energy and frequencies and um, programs that are not human programs or that is not the original seed self revealing itself or doing the things that the original DNA template would be doing and then you call it instinct it stinks really because there's intuition and no instinct you have been always human beings. You're not beasts, not animals. You have made so and made so believe, of course. And again, we say that whole thing about the Darwin. And who was that Darwin anyways? To say you were like coming from the monkeys? Because why? Because some monkeys have been mixed with human genes and then becoming apes. And you may have some monkey genes. We said it before, even in the polio vaccine were monkey kidneys. So don't be surprised how much mixing has been going on. Even the dogs behaving like raping on the dogs. You think that is natural? Or the cats sadistically killing uh, another being, another animal, like a mouse or or whatever it's playing with sadistically, 
Slowly it's dying. This is not a natural creation. It's not a natural behavior of an animal at all. That is all genetic manipulation. And there are all genes of something else. And you must become very, very clear about what is true natural divine source creation. A mosquito isn't that. A mosquito could be, but not some mosquito taking your blood, pissing on where it just has, with a needle-like structure, penetrated your skin, taking your blood and then pissing over it, which caused you this itchy uncomfortable feeling and then giving you diseases. This is not divine natural creation or about the thicks. And there's so much going on. If you look around you, you will understand uh, that a lot of these things have been corrupted and manipulated. And it's not just the last years or the last decades. or It has been going on for million, million, millions of years, right? Now, everything is turning back into its divine, harmonious co-creation. And you, divine, beloved souls, are helping. And we'll explain you more about how you have been helping. And I'm going to make a beautiful message for divine twin flames as well. But the message for divine twin flames is for all of the masculine and feminine qualities and currently being incarnated in divine masculine or feminine souls and bodies. The message is for everyone and important for everyone to understand in here. That will come in the next video. But this message is to understand that a human being is not capable of doing such a sadistic and inhumane thing such as things that have been going on in wars or abusing and raping their own children this is not a normal thing okay and if something has used your body and has done this and you feel guilty or something has done it to you and you cannot forgive, please understand that something has used you to set you up against each other because it started with the great split. The splitting of the atom, the splitting of the divine feminine and masculine into polar polarities instead of a unison and working in harmony and being in harmony and in love. And now have this amenity to, to be against each other, setting up against each other and fighting each other all the time. Aren't you tired of not having an harmonious relationship within yourself or with another? That there's always conflict somewhere? So... Please understand that you are and can return back into the divine harmony and you can cooperate and co-create instead of resisting rejecting, because rejecting, it only will extend the suffering. Because it will happen. The harmony will happen. The union will happen and is happening. And if you see around, there's already so much more union, unity and compassion going on into the world. The fighting between races, the, the fighting between families, between children and um, parents and communities and countries isn't a normal thing. Fight between a man and woman isn't a normal thing. And now it is time to become harmonious and back into union again. And all of you can actively co-create and ask the divine love. Yes, I give permission to the highest of divine love and source only for working through me. 
and showing me and unfolding its magnificent, miraculous ways of showing the unconditional love. All right? And yes, there might be some people who, from free will, doesn't matter if there was manipulation, it was still a choice, have, or ignorance, it doesn't matter, it was still a choice, have agreed to have been inserted with certain injections, all right, and they will then also have the choice of having fragments of souls that have been hanging around like ghosts you can say without a body but cannot find back the light because they've been stuck in traumas or in any way being trapped without a body right and to agree to bring those back into the life into the light as well because they all need to come back in the light. Everything. We're even cleaning up hell, so to say. We're not leaving behind anything. That's not like how we are. And I remember a story of the beautiful being called Jeshua. That he had like hundred sheep and he would not leave one little sheep behind. He would still find the hundred sheep, no matter if he had 99. This is just a parable to show you how we are, because he said you will do all these things and more. And this is true, we are all doing it, it is already happening, because the Christ that light is within each of us. All right? And I'm speaking about Jeshua at the moment, no matter what your beliefs are, because it's my personal experience that there was this beautiful being and not that he looked anyway like they shone and depicted him. It is He was more dark, darker and more like... Middle Eastern, and so, or, or like, yeah, between Middle Eastern and Asian, it doesn't matter exactly, but he was showing himself to me on a moment that I really needed help many, many years ago, and I felt the deepest, deepest love coming from the beautiful being that he is. And then I go on my knees because it was like the love brought me to my knees. It was like such a great honor and love that I felt so small and unworthy even. But this beautiful being took my hand and pulled me up to my feet and have level, have me look level into his eyes to receive the love. And it was so difficult at that moment for me but he insisted and showed me and telepathically communicated like I am you you are me and to not pull myself down that I am all the love and worth all the love and that the beauty of the highest is with me and will reveal itself through me if I continue to be the light and be true to this divine highest love and be compassionate and all of these beautiful qualities. Anyway, so... Everyone should follow what resonates, but intuition is your divine gift, right? 
and intuition is guiding you always. There's so much more to say. And I'm going to make a beautiful next video. Everything will return into the light. And yes, people will leave the planet. But don't be afraid for all timelines, which are past timelines. Because it is normal people leave their body. Because not all the bodies are capable to ascend with the body or have the value of it or needing to ascend with the body because you won't need your physical body if there is no more um, third dimension to live in. You need a higher morphed body uh, and the body, some of the bodies will be come the golden diamond structures and of course understand well that the entire story is about the ozone layer isn't truth. Because, of course, the ozone layer has helped before, but now it isn't truth anymore. You're already living in the fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension has many layers. And the first dimension, uh, the first layer of the fourth dimension is that you are starting to wake up. You're starting to open up for the higher realities, bigger truths, and all of the lies that have that you have been fed. And you can feel a bit foolish, but also try to laugh and see the humor of it a little bit. Because it is actually brilliant to be able to become so small when you're such a magnificent being and fool yourself to believe and to be really become to believe that you are so small and unworthy and all of those things. Anyways, later more about this. There are many layers in the fourth dimension, right? I've told her before that we told before that it's kind of a labyrinth. So there's a lot of confusion and chaos in the fourth dimension because everything is coming together and all of the lowest dimensions and all of and many of the higher dimensions and galactic beings and earth beings and from the inner earth and the outer layers and so forth so there is more and more coming up to the surface and best you can do is just Allow the higher frequencies to enter in. Take excellent care of your bodies and eat and absorb the light around you. And also the solar light and the oxygen, which is also ozone. If you want change and if something is changing, for example, if the body is changing from carbon to more diamond structure, the diamond golden structure, which can withstand the thinner air or different kind of oxygen or ozone or ways that you can breathe in the galactic uh, or solar frequencies and vibrations, for example, then of course something must change. And if your bodies will be withstanding to keep on living for thousands of years without being destroyed, if there ain't no, aren't any more anti-particles to destruct, no more corruption, uh, then of course something needs to change because you can never make something new by doing the same thing all the time. So, something new needs to enter in. And one of those new things is, of course, the ozone, which changes things. And the solar light synthesizes, cleanse. The ozone also heals and cleanse all the bacteria and the viruses and the fungi. A lot of things that have not been good for you and synthesizes all of those corruption. If you have a higher vibrational level on your body, then a lower vibration cannot exist. That's why a lot of gases, heavy metals, all those things um, take over of the cells from exchanging, of changing, I mean, um, these electrolytes, the natural minerals and even the sink. Uh, metals into the lower vibrational 
oxides and metals to and the chlorides and the fluorides to make as a low vibrational frequencies as far as possible because only in those low frequencies those lower vibrations such as and the luciferian reptoids um insectoids and all of its helpers and constructions and machinery and implants can only uh, thrive exist in low frequencies so that's why all these creations have been done all right not only in the mind control and have as low vibrational mental thoughts feelings sending out all the time um, 5g all the time as low as possible because only then it can exist so as long as soon as you tune out and pull off and take out all of those 5g wi-fi mobiles tvs and and so forth and detox your body from all those shit i can just say that and have higher vibrational light coming in and use your own beautiful sound in, instead of all those programmed low vibrational sounds and frequencies that you're being bombarded by daily and all those fearful based media stuff that is even now coming through your internet and everywhere you're coming it's being pushed to you this and that sickness that sickness and you need to take that injections it is all the time being pushed at you and why you must ask yourself maybe because something can only live through you and take your over your bodies and your minds when the vibration is low enough all right with sickness and fears and something once something even carries the name saying be ill you know paying your bill bill be ill it is all the same so billionaire you know many things are in the names but Highest love is so, 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 so magnificent. Again, all these lower things are no, and have no business here in divine creation, right? And yes, they have done a great work for experiencing and seeing if something could be, you know, hijacking creation and although yes it seemed like it could be but it wasn't because the creation will always automatically turn back to the love because what is more magnetic and attractive than the highest divine consciousness and love the higher divine unconditional love is always more attractive and this what is coming into you the beautiful divine love the passionate love which is also a voice right your divine beautiful uh, beloved is more magnificent and attractive and magnetic than anything else so let it happen calm down breathe the oxygen and understand that oxygen and solar light are divine masculine vibrations and qualities and both are changing because the solar light is now coming in with the most highest divine adamantal golden particles the golden ray the highest dimensional golden rays coming through the divine feminine has helped making the way for the divine masculine to return so help and allow the divine masculine to return and understand this is the divine masculine don't confuse it with the corruption of the reptoids and the luciferian which mimicked and pretended they were the masculine and then pretended that they were doing the corruption and abused the name of the masculine oh my god that you can call it man but the man is not really the divine masculine all right you're not a human 
You are a you being. You being. Because of the harmonic. You. H, I must say, from harmonic and you from universe. So you and being. You are a harmonic universal being playing along with this harmonic verse this orchestra of creation and co-creation you are a co-creator all right this message is long enough and anyways if you want to support my channel you're very very welcome you have my permission to share these videos entirely and with the texts also that I give with these videos and um, always respect and acknowledge the divine uh, messenger Sayuna Pleiadian messenger and then it is all right to share don't take parts out of these messages, please, because they're all encoded and encrypted with the higher beloved activations. And the words are used in divine order as well. These are puzzle pieces that help the activation of your DNA and divine blueprint as well. So keep on sharing, caring, and also you can always support me and Yes, humanity can upgrade uh, their uh, ascension very quickly. The Pleiadians are helping by um, moving away from the monetary system. It doesn't matter if you are talking about cryptocurrency or the monetary system because uh, a lot of corruption and everything is being bought and you know, orchestrated by just that. And you could have already taken a leap, a huge leap by everybody's just saying, no, I do not give my consent by the use and abuse through this monetary um, control system. And having new exchange methods. Because when I was in this higher I am presence uh, where I could only be silenced and move within, then I could also see in the divine harmony there isn't any money, of course. There's only the harmony and it is like an extension, but it's so corrupt and false. So for me, it did not feel pure. And it's always difficult to move with these, how to use it and how to, you know, ask for it when I'm giving my gifts and sharing it it is much more beautiful to have exchanges and yes for some things it's still needed but we can move beyond these and a lot of inventions as we told in other videos are already done and the beautiful people and the humans have the power in their own hands and have all their gifts in their own hands and the bodily system we have been given everything and we have the plasma and we are the treasures and we are rich beyond really so find ways work together have trust in your own abilities and it is not beneficial for you to keep on talking about nevada nevada asara or However, the names were about money systems, new things, looking to the governments to do stuff. You still think that certain people in your governments or looking up to certain things or even to the stars for help. It is you who are from the star sheets and helping here. It is you carrying all the codes and gifts and each other. So please don't put yourself down anymore. Don't play small and allow each other to step forward support each other work together in harmony and work well all right because the power is with you the divine is within you and you are the ones making everything happen and can make it the biggest of shifts and changes in every moment every moment again here and now i make meditations for you available and sound healings to help you delete every corruption that is there 
from the highest frequencies and I will explain more in these specific codes and videos that I'm sharing with you and you can exchange for some tokens, monetary system, cryptocurrencies and of course uh, you can also ask me things that I can use that can be beyond the money which is even more joyful mm. and yes money can also be supported by this moment I will always change it into things that are very beneficial and helpful for the entire humanity I have no um, joy in um, collecting or putting it in any things that are useless for uh, the ascension of humanity and they will only go into the health of the human bodies and the higher upgrades or choose to bring these messages to more people and things like that all right so my beautiful new music videos and uh, meditation sounds guided meditations and more explanations will be uh, available for you as well and more videos are coming and being shared and share more with other people these are not only from the pleiadians this also coming the i am presence through the more we are merging and as well um from the beautiful higher It is not supported yet to say where they're coming from that will come in another video but higher uh, dimensional frequencies that came even before the Pleiadians but the Pleiadians are really the ones who are bringing forward these um, fifth dimensional ascension help mostly but they're working together with all of the beautiful divine higher aspects of the one love and unity right and everything is inside you too so keep loving and resist the lower vibrational frequencies and fear vibrations keep moving them and asking the highest of love uh, to pull them back into the highest of love give them to the highest of love and do not give your consent use your consent wisely all right Send you much love, the forgiveness is the highest, the gratitude is the highest, and the unconditional love is the highest, the joy is the highest. So work together in unity. Much love sent to all of you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.